Hi guys, it's Shami from Craft Seams and Things. So today I have a fun crafty idea. So today we are going to make these gift bags. They're Christmas gift bags and they're made from plain paper bags. Super simple. So let's get started. I got this idea at a recent craft show I went to, um, but mine are a little different. I expanded on the idea that I saw a little bit. And the best part about these is they're decorated on the front. Super simple. All you need is just scrap paper like Christmas paper that comes on the big pad is great those 12 by 12 sheets just because you can decorate two bags from one sheet and then um, I just added a little bit of embellishment on the back and that was the person that create that inspired this um, idea so super fun I'm gonna use a glue stick now you could use a runner if you want the only problem is I can never get anything on straight so um, it just didn't work for me <laughs> that one I did with the with the runner and it didn't work. So I'm going to use just a regular glue stick. It works just fine. You're going to need stickers and craft paper. Now what I craft, well, the scrapbooking paper that I'm using is Christmas themed and Diana gave me this huge pad full of all these wonderful sheets, which is unbelievably generous and wonderful. So I've been putting it to good use, Diana. <laughs> okay. So you're going to need the 12 by 12 sheet, as I told you, and all you're going to do is measure the length and the width of your bag and um, you can get these bags at the dollar store just make sure that you double measure and don't trust my measurements because my bag is probably a little bit different than yours okay so you're going to grab your 12 by 12 sheet okay i'll get one that does not have a tear on it <laughs> okay and i am going to go to five and a quarter because that's how wide my bag is across okay i'm just going to cut it down Okay. And then I'll do this on this side too. Five and a quarter. Okay. And then you have this little piece that's left over. Now you're going to cut it down to the length that it is. So the length of the back. And for me, that is exactly ten and a half. But as I said, yours might be a little different. So make sure that you check. And you have this little piece left. And then you do that with the other piece. So you get two enough for, to cover two bags, which is great. So this is very economical. Even if you were just to go, you know, and buy some, some stuff, you could go and buy some craft paper, just open stock. It's still very economical. Okay, so you'll take the piece that you cut out. Alrighty. And make sure you leave the long piece or the thicker piece, whichever one you want to use for the back. And you're going to grab your glue stick. Okay. And I just love glue sticks for paper crafts. They're really cool, especially for stuff like this, because it's not like it's a... I love using them on cards, too. I've never had a problem with stuff coming up as long as I apply enough glue. But um, especially for stuff like this. And how wonderful to put, you know, a gift into a handmade bag. And these take no time to make at all. Just going to take it. And what I do is I start at the very bottom right here. And you just kind of have to work quickly because you guys know that it dries pretty quick, your glue stick. Okay, I'm just going to take it and line it up at the end. And I do not mind if a little bit of the brown bag shows, which it will on one side, just a little bit. I love... Um, that people will be able to see what it's made for. And you guys know I'm totally not a perfectionist, so I love to have fun when I do stuff. So that's the end goal for me. It's not that it's perfect. And the people that I love and I make stuff for and that I sell, you know, they just love that love that I put the effort in so that's what matters so you're going to take your piece this is the long piece that was left over from our cutting and I don't even measure I just kind of approximate and I'm going to line that up just at the corner here just like that okay and then I'm going to smooth it out just like that okay If you wanted to, you could use the tape runner on this part too. It's a little bit smaller, so you'll probably do a better job than <laughs> right? Okay, and then you take your scissors and you'll just trim it off, just like that. Okay, so we have, this is the back and this is the front. Okay, so now we are going to grab some cardstock 
um, which I have right here. And this is just stuff that I got at Michael's um, that I had in my stash for a while. Um, it's like two dollars for a, like a pack of 25 or something. And then I'm just going to make a band. So I'm going to measure that at about two inches wide. Okay, and then just do the sides of the paper. Okay, just like that. And then I'm just going to cut it down so I know that width across of the bag is about five and a quarter for my bag. As I said, yours is probably different. Um, so I just take it and cut that down. Okay, just like that. Now, if you don't have a paper cutter, do not worry. Just, you know, use what you have. Um, just pick up some scissors and you're ready to go. And I'm just going to grab my glue stick again. Apply it liberally with glue, just because I want to make sure that it stays on. Okay. And you guys are probably much better at using those paint runners than I am. <laughs> or the, the glue runners than I am. It, did I call them paint runners the entire? I probably did call them that. The whole time that I've been doing this video, huh? I've been calling it the wrong name. Okay. You have to totally laugh at me. <laughs> because <laughs> that's pretty funny okay so then um i these are just stickers that i got at hobby lobby they're 40 percent off and i'm just going to kind of pick one that i think kind of goes with the theme so let's maybe do hmm let's do oh christmas tree well maybe i'll save oh christmas tree for something else tree. Mm, yeah maybe Use that one. Maybe I'll do Noel. Let's do Noel. Okay, just put it right in the center of my little fan that I made there. And then I'm just going to grab some stickers here and I can kind of see what goes with what. I love this Noel. So I just put down just a little bit more glue. Okay, and I can stick that right there. And we have a beautiful Christmas bag. You can embellish it further. You can add glitter. You can add ribbons, kind of whatever you want. And it's a fabulous gift that you give to someone. Look at how cute that is. And all they have to do is just stick the, all you have to do is stick the gift in and you can give it. And these are so fun to make. Here's a couple more that I made. And that one says ho, ho, ho. And then this one doesn't have any decoration. And I think it looks really sophisticated. And then you have the decoration on the back for all of them. Okay. So um, stay tuned because I will have more Christmas DIYs, um, but hopefully you'll make this and you'll give all your beautiful gifts that you make or that you buy um, to your loved ones and you'll put them in some handmade gifts. And the fun thing is if you go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, they have different sizes of these brown bags. So I'll make some small ones too. And these I'm actually making for a craft show. And I'll sell them for like a dollar and um, they didn't cost me that much to make. I got the paper for free from Diana who's awesome. Thank you, Diana. And I got the bags, you know, for, it was a dollar for like a hundred of them. So, I mean, it's, yeah. And I get to, yeah, I just love it. And people can put the stuff that they buy right in the bag and then you just seal it or you can staple it or you can, you know, put ribbon in like you could do two punches and then tie ribbon and that would be pretty too. Okay. So, um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. And um, I will see you guys next time. Check back because I'm going to have more Christmas DIYs coming up. Tis the season. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Have a fabulous day. Happy Thanksgiving early.